this is one busy Tesla supercharger. There's only seven charging still, but as you can see, there's like three Teslas waiting to, uh, to supercharge. <laughs> Crazy, huh? I have an interesting story about Tesla I want to share with you guys. Uh, uh, back in, towards the end of 2012, when Tesla introduced the Model S, I had, uh, I had about $61,000 in dividend income from the various companies I invest in. And so I was deciding what to do, what I should do with that money. And I was looking at, you know, at that time the Tesla was launching a Model S and it was the, it was the, you know, the first electric car with a, with a long range. And I thought, you know, I should, man, I should get one. I should buy a Tesla and that'd be kind of cool. That's my first one when I actually bought a Tesla. And it would have, I thought about it, but you know, instead what I did was, uh, I remember the gun and butter theory. The gun and butter theory is, uh, for those who don't know, is it's uh, it's an old story about what I mean, there's no investment story about what you can do with your money. See, when you have money, you could either buy guns or you could buy butter. All right, and the theory is this: like uh, guns appreciate and butter melts. <laughs> so I think it came from the old or the old time way back into the. Uh, and when America first was founded by the pilgrims, you know, like uh, the Indians, they they made butter. The Americans had the guns, and we know what happened, right? So, <laughs> the gun and butter theory. So, but basically today, the gun and butter theory is used as an investment analogy. I said you could buy guns or you could buy butter. Uh, guns are product that appreciate, and butter melts. Okay, so I, I had about I ran around sixty thousand bucks of dividend stock just sitting in my my dividend account so i was gonna decide should i buy a tesla model s you know or instead but instead what i did was uh instead of buying a tesla model s i bought the tesla stocks i bought so i bought a tesla stock so again the gun and butter theory and so that would be in 2012 that's five years ago yeah. so assuming let's if assuming i bought the tesla model s assuming i bought a tesla model s today uh, which is by definition a butter and a big piece of butter in this case. Uh, today, I believe a 2012 Tesla Model S, which was you know around sixty something thousand when it when it was first introduced, today is probably worth less than half that price. So you know I I went from sixty thousand down to thirty thirty grand. Okay. So, but I guess I would have enjoyed it. driving around in a in a car at that time was brand new, it was really nice and shiny. Today, a Model S is like just a Model S, right? However. Those Tesla stocks I purchased five years ago, today, is worth over six hundred thousand right? dollars. Gun and butter theory. Right, so, uh, if you have a, if you have a, I guess it's a little investment lesson. You know, if you have a little money save aside and you decide, should I buy a little toy or should I actually buy something that a little different? Like, should I buy butter or should I buy guns? Uh, I recommend in the beginning, you buy guns. Because if you have enough guns, you can get as much butter as you want. John Jeff with JohnSet.com. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Uh, like and share my videos. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Oh, wait. Before you go, got one more example for you. Apple introduced the iPod back, I believe, in 2009. The original iPod. Remember that thing with the original iPod with a, with a little hard drive in it that like, had 5 gigs? It sold for $399. And it was like... Wow, everyone wanted one. Instead of spending $399 on that iPod, had you bought the Apple stock for $399 back in 2009, right? So instead of buying an iPod for $399, you bought the Apple stock for, you bought $399 for Apple stock. Today, that $399 would be worth $38,000 today. Gun or butter? Your choice.